The sowl has been known for nearly 20 years now, and yet we still know very, very little about it. It was the first large mammal to be discovered since 1936. Um, so in terms of global conservation and biodiversity, it was a real stunning discovery in 1992. But in terms of uh, ecological uniqueness, uh, the Sowler is extremely special. Um, the Anamite Mountains, um, where it is found, are very biodiverse and one of the most biodiverse locations um, on a continental setting anywhere in the world. The Sowler faces numerous threats, but really the only one that's making a difference at the moment is uh, poaching. It's very hard to walk anywhere in the forests of, of Vietnam and Laos without coming across snares. This is one of the traps. Um, you can see the rocks here is the main part of the traps and at the end of the a trap there's um, a cable. When the animal cut the, the string here, the, the main part of the rope will come up like this and cut the animal like, in the head. The Sowler numbers maybe as few as 200, 250 individuals and we just simply do not have the time to wait 10 or 20 years for the sustainability of development to, to come into play. The people uh, concerned about this uh, Sowler species because they are recognized that it, if they lost the Sowler, it means they will lose everything. If we lose the Sowler, which is the most famous animal in this region, one of the most beautiful animals in this region, and one that really, really represents the very specific wet habitat of the evergreen rainforests of the Anamites, if we lose that, what chance do we have of saving all the other biodiversity and the knock-on effects of ecosystem services that these mountains have for the people of Indochina? People are always asking me, can we save the Sowler? Um, and the simple answer is yes. Um, and the Sowler Working Group has really developed solid plans on how we can do this, both in situ and ex situ. We work together collaboratively to develop strategies and approaches to Sowler conservation, standardized methods. We're trying techniques such as um, camera trapping, um, we're using techniques like um, dog detection and also working together to bring in new funding for Sowler conservation. Despite the fact there's lots of individuals and groups working on Sowler conservation, it's not something that is easy to raise money for because few people know about it. And the challenges facing Sowler are so huge, we can only really save Sowler if we all pull together under one umbrella and work as one unit. If they can save the Sala, they can save the world. The Sala is an emblem of conservation in the Indochina region. And there's so many things that need to happen to save this critically endangered species from going extinct that everything needs to happen now and it needs to happen quickly. To find out how you can get involved in saving the Sala, visit us at savethesala.org.